Can you imagine a world without smartphones and laptops? Have you ever wondered how the world used to be 50 years ago? Think of the days when your parents were kids. Have you ever asked them how interesting their childhood days were? Now imagine the world 50 years from now. What changes do you think might occur in the world? Yes, the world will be dominated by technology. You may see robots roaming around everywhere. Even in our fast-changing world, it is not too far from reality. Let us learn about an interesting piece of science fiction which is set in the future, that is, in 2157. But what is more interesting is that it was written in 1951 when people could hardly imagine a world dominated by computers. Margie, an 11-year-old girl, talks about the day Tommy found a real book. He had found it in the attic. It was so old that the pages were yellow and crinkly. Margie and Tommy were amused to see that the words in the book stood still and that they could return to the pages and read the same words again. Tommy even found the book a waste as it was thrown after reading. They were used to the telly books which could be stored in their television. Margie was curious to know what the book was about. I'm sure you two are excited about it. Let's find out. Well, it was about school. But poor Margie, she hated school. She wondered how school could be interesting enough to even have something written about it. Her school was at her home, just beside her bedroom. It was a room full of machines and a mechanical teacher who was programmed to teach her. Imagine being taught by a mechanical teacher every day. Would you enjoy learning? Do you think Margie loved such schooling? Well, Margie disliked her schooling. A mechanical teacher had been troubling her for a few days. She was given tests after tests in geography and she kept performing worse every time. Finally, her mother decided to call the county inspector, a big round man. Margie desperately hoped that the mechanical teacher had some issues that could not be repaired as she was tired of all the homework and wanted a break from studies. But the mechanical teacher was back at work. What do you think? Would Margie find the schools of today interesting or boring? Tommy, her 13-year-old brother, started reading about the schools of the olden times from the book. Margie was upset to learn that they too had a teacher. However, she was surprised when Tommy said that they were human teachers. He informed Margie that the school system was different then. How was the schooling different? Do you think there is more fun in going to school or in learning at home? Margie was startled by the fact that all the kids went to a separate building called school where they were all taught the same things as the other kids of their age. Do you know how they were taught? Have you heard about personalized and customized learning? Well, they had a similar system. The only difference was that they had no human teachers. There was a mechanical teacher which was adjusted to fit the learning capacity of each child it taught. Moreover, each child was taught differently. Margie was excited to know more. But even before they were halfway through the book, her mother informed her that it was time for her school. Her teacher was waiting for her in the next room as usual. She had the same timing every day except for Saturdays and Sundays. Her teacher started with her arithmetic class but she was distracted by the thoughts of the old schools. Margie kept wondering about the schools where her grandfather's grandfather went. Children gathered at the same place. They laughed and shouted in the schoolyard. They sat together in the classrooms and they returned home together. What fun it must have been. You two might have come across Margie's situation during the pandemic times. What did you miss the most about school? Do you think that schooling is better at home or otherwise? Yes, each system has its pros and cons. Technology surely has made our lives remarkably easier. But an excess of anything is not good. We must learn to balance our lives as well. We may have access to everything today, but for real learning, there ought to be a human touch. Nothing can replace the presence of a good teacher 
who not only knows the mind of a child but also its heart. Therefore, we must respect and honor our teachers. In it lies the true value of education. Most importantly, no society can thrive without having good interpersonal relationships. The more we interact, the more we learn. As humans, we need to understand the needs and necessities of others so that we may be able to build each other up. Remember, we made machines and not vice versa.